Hi guys. So, um, oh god, I've got me fluffy little bits of hair from the rain today. It's, uh, it's good, isn't it? Right, just thought I would um, jump on quickly and um, have a little chat with you about my post today. So, still following the procrastination um, challenge that we started in the middle of last week. I thought I would continue into this week because there's quite a lot that it can cover. So today I shared another tip on reasons why um, you might kind of put off tasks, why you might procrastinate, and um, just other reasons why you might find yourself kind of um, deciding that maybe a task that you've got isn't a priority. So... Um, I know some of the things that you guys picked last week were things like uh, housework and stuff, which is fine, and they're all relevant kind of tasks. So this one, uh, the tip today, is probably not going to be as close targeted to that. Uh, this is probably more around work. But I suppose you could see it in, in some ways as in it's other people's mess. So you could you could twist it a little bit. So basically what I'm looking at this time is when the task has been given to you, so when it's not your job. And if uh, you've ever had a boss that is one of these people that kind of says, oh, well, you know, you've cleared all your work, here's somebody else's. And we've all had them, and, you know, they're not bad, they're just ways of getting things done. And if you're somebody who is really good, really fast and, you know, really quite active, then you will often find yourself as being the person that gets those tasks launched your way. And uh, procrastination is definitely a way of, of kind of hiding from getting those tasks done. After all, we've got our own work to do, our own tasks to do, things that we want to do. And uh, you don't really want to be spending your time doing somebody else's work. And one of the things I was saying in the um, little post I shared earlier is that one of the things that you can kind of start to do is get very resentful. Um, so somebody could be off sick and you're kind of like, that's bloody convenient, you know, off sick when they're supposed to be getting that work done or supposed to be doing that job or whatever. And, and that's quite mean, you know, you're actually kind of assuming that somebody would pretend to be sick just so they don't have to do these tasks and oh you know I bet they they probably are and all but you start to get so resentful that you start to resent the person you start to um not be yourself really you start to kind of come out with sort of a quite nasty streak in yourself because you know this isn't your job and it's not something that you want to do and so you will put it off and sometimes you might decide that because it's not your job, you're going to do it last. And what you're going to do is you're going to do all your stuff first and then you're going to do their stuff last. And that makes you feel like you've got control. But that's actually the wrong way around. That's the wrong way of doing it. The best thing for you to do is to do their work first. And I'll explain why. It's not just because then you can be a kiss ass to your boss and go, well, I've done that for you, aren't I good? That's not what it's about. It's about being able to get it out of your mindset and be able to concentrate on what you're doing for your job. So my phrase that I use, my analogy that I used in my post earlier was the putting your fingers in the fire. So if you, allow, if you kind of associate that with the task, the longer that job sits on your desk or sits on your to-do list, the more you think about it, the more you stare at it, the more you look at it, the more you consider it, the more you pick it up and put it down and move it around the desk or switch it about or whatever it is that you're doing. The longer you are doing that, the longer that that task is sitting in front of you, the longer it's there to get under your skin, the longer it's there to eat away at your your kind of mood, if you like. So you start the day at, say, 8 o'clock in the morning and you come in and you've got an email from your boss that says, OK, Jenny's off sick today. Um, and you think, oh, of course she is, it's Monday. Always off sick on Monday. And uh, I need you to run the diary plan or I need you to send the sales figures out or I need you to you know, pick up the draft profiles, whatever the job might be. And you think, oh, do you know what? 
uh, I don't, I don't want to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check my emails first. I'm going to run my report. And then when I've done that, then I'll do it. But the whole time you're running your report and the whole time that you're checking your emails, you're stewing on Jenny's job. And you're stewing about how your boss has asked you to do it again. And you're stewing on the fact that she's off sick and it's Monday again. And you're stewing on all of these negative feelings. And then what happens is throughout the rest of your day, because you guarantee when you go for your first coffee break and you're talking to somebody at the coffee machine and you, they say, how's your day? You're going to go, oh, guess what I've been lumbered with today. So straight away it comes up again. It's the forefront of your mind. You're talking about it. You then go back to your desk, you then think about that conversation. From a mindset point of view, your whole morning is absorbed in this negative feeling around this task. And it doesn't need to be. You need to switch it a little bit and you need to change it a little bit and try to focus on it as a as a positive. But I don't mean just kind of a, oh, well, my boss thinks I'm so wonderful that she's given me the job to do or he's given me the job to do. I don't mean the switch that way. I mean, see it as... Either an opportunity to just go, do you know what? It's an opportunity to just get the job done, to show the management that I'm capable of doing it, to show the management that I'm a team player and I don't really care about what I do as long as I'm busy and I'm working and the whole, we're a team, you know, all of that kind of stuff. You can see it that way, just get the job done and move it on. Or the other way you can do it is just by from your own point of view, is just go, do you know what? I'm just going to get it done so I can focus on my job. And then what happens is you do the work, you'll probably find it's a, you know, a menial task. They usually are, so they don't usually take very long. You get the job done, you do what you need to do, and then you can get on with your day. And when you get on with your day, you can be positive about everything that you want to do. You can just do your jobs, you can just, you know, get involved, you can just find out all the stuff you need to do, do all your research, do all your assessments, or, you know, just <laughs> the dog's appearing now, like, there he is. Um, you know, you can just get on with it, and you, it's no longer kind of absorbing your day, and it's no longer getting in the way, and it's no longer sitting there and absorbing all your positive energy. And when you go and meet John at the coffee machine... <laughs> You're not going to be talking. I'm <laughs> sitting on me now. Um, you're not actually going to be um, focused that that coffee chat on that job. <laughs> this is live for you, uh, Mr. Jealous. You're no longer going to be focused on all that negative energy. You can start to, you can have a normal conversation. You can talk about your weekend, what you did, what they did, and all that kind of stuff. You haven't got to start that whole coffee morning or that whole coffee chat on a negative about how crap everything is and how, you know, you've been given some shit work to do again. And you can you can create a positive environment so that just that one little thing that you've had to do that day, you've come in. You've read the email, you've got a crappy job you've got to do, it's somebody else's job, you don't want to do it, so you've left it, you've moaned about it, the people next to you are sick of hearing about it, you've mentioned it at the coffee machine, no doubt you'll mention it at lunchtime as well. You've recorded how long it's taken you to do it, and when you get home tonight, you will probably moan about it as well to your partner. All of that negative energy, all from that one job, that you could just shut up, do it and move on from and from a mindset point of view this is where we talk about positive mindsets and things like that you know it is much easier to just go do you know what i'm just going to do the job just get focused just get it done and then i can get on with the rest of my day and then lunch time can be about fun stuff which means when you come back from lunch you're in a good mood and then you can tackle the afternoon in a good way it changes your whole day and it changes the way you react with people because now you haven't left John at the coffee machine walking away thinking, oh my God, that woman or, or that bloke is so negative all the time. All they do is moan. So next time I see you at the coffee machine, they're going to avoid you like the plague because all you do is moan. So you are creating positive relationships, which means when you do speak to people, they're positive conversations, which means that if somebody says to them, oh, you know, what do you think of so-and-so? 
they've only got positive stuff to say about you because no doubt if you're going for a promotion at work or you're being interviewed for a job your reputation will be what what gets you there and if if you're somebody that is just really negative all of the time about everything it will come up it will be it's what you'll be seen for and i know kind of we talked about procrastination as just being a sort of a, a putting work off but it's not always sometimes it's about the reasons why you're putting work off and one of the big ones is because you resent the task because it's not your job and a little while ago i posted a poem I see it years ago in a fish and chip shop um, when I was a kid. It was on a wall and I just always remembered it. And it's the anybody, somebody, everybody and nobody poem. So go and have a look at it. Check it out. You've probably heard it before. I know when I was a manager for my team, the teams that I work with have definitely heard it before. Um, they've probably heard this kind of live moaned at to them as well before because this is definitely something that I used to talk to them about as my team was, you know, Quite often we would have lots of other people's work to do for lots of different reasons and they would be, be one half of the team that would, you know, kind of moan and complain about doing it and the other half of the team that would say it's done, it's there, it's gone. And believe me, the, the team side that just got on with it and just did it and moved on from it and then got on with their own work were always so much more happy about it. Whereas the people that complained and moaned about it, they were right to kind of moan because they were fed up with getting other people's work. But it took time. And they, you know, I used to joke and say, the time it's taken you to complain about it, you could have actually just done it, you know. And and they'll, you know, for those of them that are in the group, they'll recognise this and they'll remember it and, you know, they may well moan about it. But, you know, it was true. I wasn't just saying it because I was their manager and I wanted them to just do the work. It really is true. You know, the more you complain about a subject, the longer it takes you to do it. Because the complaining becomes part of the task. So if you just get it done and just move on and just get on with your day, then you haven't sat there with your fingers in the fire for ages. You are not allowing that fire to consume your whole body. You know, you're a bit pissed off. And yeah, you're entitled to be a bit pissed off. There is nothing wrong with feeling a little bit pissed off about something like that. But it's how you allow that, that feeling to infiltrate your day. Do you feel pissed off, get it done and move on? And then you can have a, a positive day. Or do you feel pissed off and you hang on to that and you that becomes your anchor and that becomes everything you feel that day. Because you will transform that into every other task you do. You'll pick up the phone to take a call and you'll be negative and your customer service will be less and you'll be grumpy. People won't want to really come and talk to you because you're in one of those moods again. Guarantee people have those feelings because if you've done it once, you're probably someone that does it a lot. So one of the big tasks that you can do is just change your mindset, change the way you tackle the task. So if you were given a task to do that you don't want to do, one of the best things you can do is just suck it up get it done and move on from it because the sooner you get shot off that task the sooner you can join the rest of your day now how you can twist that away from a work environment to whether you're um, uh, procrastinating a task and you're say self-employed it could be it's a task given to you because it's part of your say like if you're uh, you've got an affiliation or you're in partnership with somebody so it may be that you know you're taking part in another challenge for another group or because you are um, you've been asked to do something to prove yourself so maybe you want to sign up for something and they want a list of whole information and you're kind of thinking why should I have to give you all of this you know whatever it might be is exactly the same the longer you leave it the longer that negativity will fester there if you want to apply it to the some of the tasks that we had last week and I'll use the shower because I know she regrets using the shower as her task. So we use that one because that's, you know, I just think it was quite funny. Um, you know, you might put the ta the uh, the task of cleaning the shower because, you know, it's not your pubic hair in the plug. It's not your grease on the wall. So why should you clean it? And that's fair enough. You can moan about that. You can feel aggrieved that, you know, it's somebody else's crap laying in the shower or it's somebody else's crap in the loo or it's somebody else's rubbish laying around on the floor or it's somebody else's 
mess on the worktop that needs wiped up. You know, definitely, you know, you can feel aggrieved about it. The longer you leave it there, the longer you're staring at it, the more pissed off you're going to get. And that doesn't help anybody. So again, if it really bothers you and it's something that you don't want there, clean it up. Just get rid of it. And then you've got a nice sparkly worktop. You've got a nice clean shower. And there's no horrible pubic hair in the plug hole. And there's no crumbs all over the worktop. And there's no rubbish laying all over the floor. And there's no toys all up the stairs. Get them made up and just get on with it, you know. And I say this from experience. I have spent years and years moaning about you know i want things done a certain way or i'd like that done and you know what you are just better off doing it yourself and just not moaning about it and you'll just change your mindset if you don't mind and you're happy to leave it for them to do leave it for them to do if it's a task that you want doing then just do it just get it done get shot of it so um hopefully some of you who put in your tasks last week and uh, gave me some ideas of the things that you procrastinated on uh, on Friday. I say the challenge to get, just get it done. Um, nobody has come back and said that they've done it. So either you're all procrastinating still or you all had wonderful weekends that you weren't able to get all those horrible tasks done. I don't mind. It's, it's not me who's procrastinating against it. I'm getting my work done. I'm being a good girl. I've changed my mindset. So um, let me know if you did it. And if you didn't, let me know why. And as for today's task, you know, just change your mindset. Change the way you see it. Instead of seeing it as a negative task, see it as just an opportunity to just get it done and get rid of it. Nice and simple. So anyway, I'm going to go and uh, spend the evening with my family now. Um, we're going to sit and watch a film and hopefully one of them is making me a nice cup of tea right now and uh, I will catch up with you all tomorrow so have a lovely evening and I'll speak to you soon take care bye